In this video, you will discover the first crucial step in building your business credit. A business starts building a brand new credit profile much the same as a consumer does. The business starts with no credit profile. The business gets approved for new credit that reports to the business credit reporting agencies. The business uses the credit and pays the bill timely. A positive business credit profile is established. As the business continues using the credit and pays bills timely, it will qualify for more credit. The first step in building business credit is to establish your business credibility. The perception lenders, vendors, and creditors have of your business is critical to your ability to build strong business credit. Before applying for business credit, a business must ensure it meets or exceeds all lender credibility standards. There are over 20 credibility points that are necessary for a business to have a strong, credible foundation. It is very important that you use your exact business legal name when applying for business credit. Your full business name should include any recorded DBA filing you will be using. Ensure your business name is exactly the same on your corporation papers, licenses, and bank statements. You can build business credit with almost any corporate entity type. If you truly want to separate business credit from personal credit, your business must be a separate legal entity, not a sole proprietor or partnership. Unless you have a separate business entity, such as a corporate or LLC, you might be doing business, but you are not truly a business. You need to be a corporation or an LLC in order to separate personal from business credit. Whether you have employees or not, your business entity must have a Federal Tax ID Number, or EIN. Just like you have a Social Security Number, your business has an EIN. Your Tax ID Number is used to open your bank account and to build your business credit profile. Take the time to verify that all agencies, banks, and trade credit vendors have your business listed with the same Tax ID Number. There are also many things that are important about the address you list on your applications. Your address must be a real brick and mortar building. It must be a real deliverable physical address. It cannot be a home address, nor can it be a P.O. box or a UPS address. Some lenders will not approve and fund unless this criteria is met. There are many business address solutions you can look into. One option is called Address Only and allows you to receive mail and packages at your dedicated business address. Another option is having a virtual office, which is where you have a professional business address, dedicated phone and fax numbers, receptionist services, and part-time use of fully furnished offices and meeting rooms. Of course, you can also go with a true office where you have your own full-time private office with receptionist services, dedicated phone and fax, internet, full furnishings, meeting rooms, and more. Many of these services are available through companies who deal with virtual addresses, companies such as Regis. To get approved for business, you must have a dedicated business phone number that is listed with 411 directory assistance under the business name. Lenders, vendors, creditors, and even insurance providers will verify that your business is listed with 411. A toll-free number will give your business credibility but you must have a local business number for the listing with 411 directory assistance. Lenders perceive an 800 number or toll-free phone number as a sign of business credibility. Even if you are a single owner with a home-based business, a toll-free number provides the perception that you are an even bigger company. It's incredibly easy and inexpensive to set up a virtual local phone number or a toll-free 800 number, so consider doing this to really help increase your chances of business credit approval. A cell or home phone number as your main business line could get you flagged as an unestablished business that is too high of a risk. Don't give a personal cell phone or residential phone as the business phone number on your applications. You can forward a virtual phone to any cell or landline phone number, but for sure, you won't want to enter the cell or home number on the actual application. Contact us today to build business credit for your business.